Sorry, Charlie. All right, so uh, Nam, I'm done with Nam. One big thing at Nam, boy, they're put they're they're putting out every color in the ocean, every type of wood with every type of cap. It's basically all basswood with different caps. And who cares? This is the basic model. That's why I went and I got the basic model. I got his stra strap lock things, put it on here because I wanted to spend about as much money as he did on his first guitar and go by his rules. About a couple hundred bucks. Because I got this for a couple hundred bucks and it's the, it's the mid. But I had both, I didn't want the zebras because then it would look like a, uh, what is it? Standard special and something like that. So you can see, I you know, can't tell because I put a Charvel sticker. Because <laughs> I want people to go, what is it? Is it a mystery? <laughs> There's no difference really, except for if you want black pickups that are exactly the same output, exactly the same everything, but they're zebra, you know, black and white. Who cares? Both of them come with. Oh no, the uh, low end does not come with uh, this. The uh, the tuna. So so put one on. Uh, and you have to get it rewired unless you want you know the volume and a tone, and you can't go. Just stupid on an Van Halen guitar, right? Right. So there you go. Personally, I think this is, it's the uh, the right amount of uh, Les Paul. It's the right amount of a little bit of Fender, Telecaster, a little Strat. And the neck is teeny. And the strings go all exactly straight. All, you know, for... The Floyd Rose thing. And it's a teeny. Look at how small that flipping neck is. It's tiny. You can't... If you hit it, it won't break off. That'll break off, maybe. But these big necks, the Jackson one... Bam, bam, bam. He learned it because when he was starting to use those Kramers, he'd bust those off all the time. And he'd just throw them out to the audience. So, I'm going to play a little bit here. I don't have much to talk about. I talked about Kiss a little bit with Gene and Ace. Gene is an ass, and if he groped Ace's wife, now the gloves are off, and Ace is going to sue Gene and get in line because he's got a ton of women that are suing him for sexual assault now because it's not going down like it used to in the 70s, dummy. He's got to slow down. He's, he's, he's 70 years old. He's going to be he's 69 years old. Stop acting like a pervert. You have two kids. The son is and the daughter are way more intelligent than you are. Where that happened, came from, I don't know. <laughs> because the mother is... Uh, but, you know, whatever. But uh, I think what is happening with Gene is, is payback. He's going to get payback. And Paul will too. Like I said, they're doing all this stuff just, just to have people talk. And when I get online and I say, well, I'm going to the show anyways. I think they suck. Fake Freely's an idiot. I don't mind uh, Eric Singer because he does pay tribute to the original character. But uh, Tommy just doesn't give a crap. He's putting the makeup on like a little boy, and he just walks out, and he's Mr. Spaceman. He just wants to get this three years over with, collect his millions, and he's done. Because he's also, you know, will get paid part of the catalog that when they put out this, like, greatest hits, where the band redid all of the Kiss greatest hits on with the Sonic Boom release, I think it was. That's so they would be, they put that out there, and then people play it, not knowing it's the, not the real Kiss, because people don't, you know, Kiss is not known for their music ability, like me. So, 
they get paid for that. They get paid for, you know, if they play Detroit Rock City, Dr. Love, you know, any of those friggin' songs that they usually play. Detroit Rock City, Beth. They even have, what's his name, Eric Singer singing Beth. They have Eric Carr singing Beth on the song. It's just ridiculous. They, they don't care. And so they have Shock Me on this tour with uh, Fake Freely singing it. And I said he should be electrocuted. Why not? And people are going crazy. And one guy saying, there are more than one guitar player on the planet Jendel. Really? You're going to really? Really? Do you really think Ace is from a planet called Jendel? You don't know how, where he got that name? Okay. So I said, yes, there are. There are two. I was going to say the other was Vinny Vincent, but he's... he's you know what? I met Vinny, and he was a really nice guy in the 80s. What happened? His wife was murdered, a bunch of stuff that I really don't know that much about. I don't know about the box set. I didn't, I've heard about it, but I didn't put any money down. No way. I'm not a sucker. I knew that guy was going through hard times. So he might just try to do a, you know... Box sets getting ready. We're taking down payment. Never pay anybody for something that they can't show you is ready to ship right then. Always. Including that friggin' shark guitar. Alright, I'm done talking. <laughs>
So there you go. I really like this guitar. It's, it's convenient. You can do just about anything on it. It sounds pretty good for the most part. That's that. It's a little jam on mine. Since they were pushing the hell out of this thing yesterday. Or yesterday. Several days ago. <laughs> Whenever I went down there. I think it was Saturday. Or Friday. Saturday. I don't know. That whole weekend was like just stuffed with stuff. And the weird thing is, I saw nobody I knew. Really. I mean, a few guys that I saw on YouTube, and they were, like, basking in the glory of a few people seeing him. I'm like, eh, I'm, if I wore that hat, maybe, but I still don't have that many subscribers. So help out, please, guys and girls. Subscribe to right there, I think it is. Thank you. You all have a good night, and I will talk to you. Later, man. Subscribe. Thank you.